Okay, I'm gonna do a quick litter eval just so you can see the entire litter from a pairing and see what I like and what I don't like about the rabbits. These guys are almost seven week old Rex. So we're, we've got three bucks and two does. This is one of my least favorite bucks. He's not atrocious, to be honest. He's got terrible fur density, which I know you can't really see on that video. Um, but it is very, very soft, and when I squish it, there is absolutely no resistance. This line is also prone to a little bit harsher coats, which is fine, because I've got plenty of bucks to balance it. But his is going to be especially um, prone to protruding guard hairs, and since he doesn't have the density to balance it, definitely not one to keep from a fur perspective. Now I can appreciate that he's fairly strong in the start for this shoulder, but I know I can't show you very well. Um, oh, but if we look at his top view, he's a very narrow throughout animal. I do appreciate, we're going to try to not break you here, how tall his loin sits on that hind quarter. And it is a very straight loin, and that I do appreciate. But overall, not one I'm likely to keep. And we need plenty of dinners, so there's no problem with that. Let me check his weight real quick on the pot. He was three pounds, three ounces. So I've been fussing with this guy for a little bit, trying to get him to come into a pose. This is the, the definite worst brother of the set. Mom's a long-shouldered doe, and Dad's got some shoulders too, but there were other pieces I was hoping would line up, and they did not for this little guy, but some of the others have got pieces I like. Now, this is probably about as good as we're getting. His shoulders should start here where this rise starts, but as you can see, he's got a good four fingers of extra shoulder length, and every time he gets a chance, he's going to pop that head up because he's trying to get comfortable. They are very uncomfortable pose when they're this long shouldered. So you've got four whole fingers before that shoulder should be starting of extra shoulder. So this guy's food, cute food, say hi cute food, yep, cute food. So this guy is the lightest at 2 pounds, 14 ounces. But, he's got a much shorter shoulder than the last buck we looked at. And a little more depth than the first buck we looked at. Now he's still a little narrower than I would like him to be. But I do know the way that this line develops. They develop a little bit slower, that mass. They start out much deeper and add that width on later. And he's still a little silly. And I think he's got a little more shoulder length than I would like. So again, probably not one that's going to stay, but he's definitely going to stay a little longer than the last brother we looked at. Assuming that he makes his weight minimums by 8 weeks and then by 10 weeks. And then while I'm color-coded for me, the two uh, blacks are both those, and all three bucks are broken black otters. It's a broken blue on black otter mating. Now this little doe's the biggest at 3 pounds 7 ounces. She's been a little feisty because it's not the first time on the table today. She says we're over this. You can see how much shorter and stronger her shoulder is than the bucks. She does still peak a bit early, but I have faith that it's going to move back and be more correct as she ages. This is also a pretty big solid kind of doe. She's the one I'll hang on to and let her develop a little bit longer. And we'll take a look at her. So I neglected to talk about the uh, fur on everybody else besides the first buck that I looked at. Um, the second two bucks had better density. They're still going to have a little, bit, yeah, a little bit of that protruding guard hair that's just common with this line. It comes out the next generation bred to bucks that have better fur. Um, this first black doe had really nice density, so she's the one that I would take a look at. This doe lacks some of that density, but she's still significantly better from the, the first buck. Let me pause this and get her weight. Alright, on the smaller end of this litter, she's at 2 pounds, 14 ounces. Not our smallest, but not our biggest either. She isn't atrocious. Um, I would be more likely to keep her sister over her. Partly it's the uh, amount of weight, partly it's the attitude. There are some things I do really like about this little doe. Um, she does peak more forward than her sister and round off strongly. But probably the biggest thing that 
we'll be putting her on the to eat pile versus the to keep pile. I don't know how well you will see it, but we'll try. Um, if you look at her top, she has a much wider start to this loin and it narrows as she goes back. That's something that occurs a lot in my herd that I'm trying to get rid of. So it's very unlikely that I would keep her over because of that. And now we've got one doe that I really like and a bunch of not so much. But that's okay, that's what happens. And they're all tasty. <laughs>